Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian musician signed to Maven Records. Some call him the king of alternate sounds, while some say he's a very private guy. With singles like Are You Down featuring Tewa Savage, based on Kwa featuring Crayon, Let Me Know, Revival, to mention a few, and an album, Let's Make Welcome, the guy who finds it interesting that people create the idea that being signed to a label is like saving you. Ladipo. <laughs> That introduction is not. I think that's one of the best ones I've heard so far. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. Yeah, but I wanted to explain that statement. The last statement? Yeah. What was the last statement? The people that you said? feel like um, when an artist is signed to a record label that they sa they're saving the artist. Don't you think so? That they're saving the artist? Yeah. I don't I agree. Okay. See, I, think, I think when you join a label, it should be a partnership. It's because the label has a shared, it has a vision. You have mm -hmm. a vision, and those visions should be shared. Like, you have to have a way you're going, and they're like, hmm, we can help you get there. Do you know? That kind of thing. So it's a partnership. Hmm. It's, there's no, nobody saving, nobody's doing anybody favors, especially because there's contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, how did you feel when you got the call from Don Jazzy that <laughs> wants to sign you? <laughs> no, but did you, no, the question is, did he get a call from oh, Don yeah. Jazzy? Because <laughs> I think they already awesome. had like a relationship before that signing. Um, actually, no, I never met Jazzy before. All I knew is, you know, Jazzy is Jazzy, you know, mm -hmm. and um, there was a rumor that you know, Jazzy, Jazzy, for me, I didn't understand it, it didn't make sense to me, it was crazy. Uh, what the story is, I'm told, is he heard me on a radio station playing one of my songs, and then he was like, this guy is interesting, you know, because I think at that time he was looking for a rapper. Mm -hmm. And then he now had, one of my friends was signed, Deja. No. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I knew Deja um, from our time in America, and then they now start to send coded messages. Jazzy never once called me directly. You know, but other people came and said, Jazzy is interested, Jazzy is mm -hmm. interested. So I just had to wait. And one day I got an email. Click. Boom. I think we can heat up the industry together. I said, yeah. Aww. You know what I mean? Check so, out. So at first I didn't respond. I was like, nah, I'm not going to respond. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Let's form bad guys. Bad guys. I yeah. mean, I'm oh, poor, shit. right? No, <laughs> after a while, I think after like maybe like a week, you know, I was like, I don't know what kind. Because no, that was it. I was like, no, 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 no. I have to, so I wrote back, I'm like, I, I agree with you, I think this could be something special, so on mm -hmm. and so forth, and yeah. And it's been something special, right? It has been, and I think at the end of the day, we both learned a lot, because mm -hmm. when I joined Maven, I was the most different artist on that label, True. not just because I rapped, but the kind of music that I made, it was already even alternative to the rap that was already happening, mm -hmm. so to take that to everybody's ears, that was a special thing. I don't okay, sound so, like you're um, rapping right you know, now. Yeah. <laughs> You said you were holding, you held back for about a week before you replied yeah, that. Yeah. Why? First and foremost, two reasons. One, I didn't want to come off too eager. That's mm -hmm. one. I wanted to let, to send my own personal message of, you know, I value myself too, and I'm excited. I was extremely excited. I don't think I could sleep, you know, but I wanted it to seem like I know where I'm going as well. Mm -hmm. I, I respect my own value. I respect yours, but it's not. You're not going to see me as some. I'm not begging for, for this. Mm -hmm. I see it because I would be great at it, and I wanted them to feel the same way. Interesting. And, but you you did long say long. while you were talking <laughs> that you were you were like a different kind of artist on the label. Now many people had a concern because you were you were part of. A, a, of a generation of music we know as Chardonnay music. Mm. You know, you were not, you had a crew, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, you, Faust the Bad Guy, um, the other dude now. Yeah, uh, Chin. Chin. We, did a, we did a song called Chardonnay yes. Music. Now, many, many people expressed concerns about the fusion of sound being with Maven, that that was definitely ultimately going to influence your sound. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so there was that concern, okay, yeah. how was Paul going to sit in comfortably yeah. with Maven? Yeah. And nobody saw that fusion happening. Yeah. How was that for you? To be honest with you, man, to be very honest, I too, because the fans always let you know what they feel. Yeah. Especially now, Instagram, they put it in the comment section right there about how far, you know, and I felt like I had to be very sure and confident. And because I'd been to, before the signing was announced, I'd already been going to Maven, I'd already been chilling with Jazzy, been chilling with everybody. And I saw that, look, they wanted to add diversification to their own label. They were known for Afro pop, yeah. Afro beats, mm -hmm. Afro fusion. They wanted to now break into other sounds. Okay. So because I saw that interest, that's what made me feel like, you know, this can work. And Jazzy is, see, Jazzy has been making out of the box music since time. Mm -hmm. If you think about the ba him and the badge, um, Oliver Twist, that sound was not even on, in our, on our radar until he dropped it. Mm -hmm. So I felt like if there's anybody that, I, that can take a chance, it's him. You know, and then I dropped, eventually dropped a project called Talk About Poe, and everybody was 
th they were surprised that my sound was very original, and I dropped that on Maven Records, yeah. mm. the biggest pop label in the country, on the continent. Talking okay. about Jazzy and yeah. Maven Records, I mean, we saw the picture of the house, the new studio, the new outlet, and it looks so beautiful. So I'm not, I've not been in there yet, and I'm hoping mm. you can give me a tour, uh, maybe not Jazzy. One day, no. Yeah, no. soon. But <coughs> if you're going to describe that place and what that um, building means to him and the team, what would you say? It is in many things. It's a sanctuary, it's a workspace, it's a family living room, it's, what I'm trying to say is that it represents a lot of things and we feel like we can vibe there more than anything. Mm. As much as it's new and nice, when you step in, you need to be able to catch inspiration. And I think that's what it is. And everybody's excited to work, like we're hungry. You know, while the studio is being you know, done and everything like that, we had to record in different spaces and everything, so what? what I'm telling you, don't yeah. worry, just listen We're to We're not ready. You're not, you can't <laughs> be. How can you be? 2020 is going to be interesting. There's a lot of songs already we're working on, but the sound is going to change. Yeah. Going I'm to curious nice. to know what's happened with you, Chain, and Fowl. Mm. Uh, you guys give us the impression like, you know, there was this trilogy going on. Uh, you know, it was, never you really, know? A, it was never really a group. It was, it was yeah. a moment in the studio. It was a song. And, you know, it's crazy about that song because that's, that song is so atypical. It has no hook. Nigerians yeah. love their hooks. They will not know the verse, but they will sing your hook, you know. Yeah. But this song had no hook, and my verse talked about Lagos, how far we Lagos on a Monday. Yeah. Traffic is as bad as the news on the front page. People connected to it. I think we should have done it again. We should have done something else, but, you know, time. Time, and everybody has different schedules. So it was never, it was never meant to be an existing trilogy? Right? No, it was never meant to actually be a group. We didn't yeah. plan that, you know, we'll come back again and do another one, but... Now that I think back, probably people would have liked that. All right, because that, that was different. That was that was yeah, different. Music music, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, now let's talk about your lyrics. I mean, Ooh. you have good lyrics. How Thank do you, you get much. that inspiration and where do all the words come from? As Nigerians always say, it's God. I mean, for me, man, what it is is that, um, you know, uh, observing and taking things in, you know, noticing stuff. I did a song with Files a while back when I first started to enter music called Marry Me. And in the song I talk about, I see so many babes, jealous of their friends, used to the heartache, but they've given up on men. But, you know, so this is me observing and watching my friends, my sister's friends, cousins, seeing the pressure on them when it comes to, ah, oh, you should be married, you should do that. And I felt like the pressure was unfair. And over time, lyrics started to come into my head to describe the situation, and that's usually how it is. Okay, you know, now it's, it feels like you're rapping now, yeah, <laughs> lyrics. Just, I'm taking it, for me, it's taking things in. Like, I might ask you a question, you know, oh, your nails look really nice, what color is that? You tell me the color, you tell me it's a unique color. It might end up in my verse because I like the way it sounds, and I think that someone like you and other people, other females relate to that, to that mm. do you know what I'm saying? So I, I observe stuff. Okay. What so what is. are you working on? What should we expect from you soon? It's a festive hmm. period. So was, how, how dirty is your December? Uh, my December is going to be dirty in a different way in the sense okay. that it's a lot of hard work because I have a lot of things planned for January. Yeah. So the work has to go in now. Mm -hmm. So while I'm going out doing shows, I'm coming back straight to the studio to finish songs, mixing songs, mastering songs. Okay. But what I will say is that the revival is coming. Okay. Watch out for the revival. Okay. okay, what's well, that forget. supposed to be? An album, a concert, an EP? An EP, well, fingers crossed. <laughs> mm -hmm. we'll just keep no, 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 I think we need to spill some tea. <laughs> spill <Say something. laughs> I like that, I like that phrase. Yeah. We need to spill some tea. Mm -hmm. Say something. Um, mm -hmm. What I would say is, okay, last year I did a, my first ever concert called Ladipo Live. I'm not doing it this year. Okay. And I'm not dropping a project in December. Mm -hmm. So, Revival Sunday is another way for me and my fans to... Revival Sunday. Revival Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. 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 How did you do this? How did you guys get that out of me? I wasn't even going to say that. Oh, wow. It's some kind of vibe. All I can say is I expect a lot of music very in a short space of time. Consistent. Consistent. You guys are good. I did not plan to give this information out. How did they know? Before wrap things up, you've never been one caught up in any kind of controversy. And I'm wondering how, well. That's why he's a private guy. Yeah, I wonder how you've been able to do that. I mean, not even you, maybe with another artist. We've seen that happen several, and most recently, MI and Vector. I just want to pick your brains on that. For me, like, controversy is, I see the gimmick in it. You know, like, it's a way to get attention to yourself, and controversy sells. 
I just. So you think that was a gimmick? That was just publicity. Spot? I think a lot of. I think they. I think they probably had real differences because M is the kind of person and and Vector the kind of people that for them to say something about someone that consistently or that way. Yeah. There's, there's a real because they don't. They'll let a lot of things like M. Some might come at M. M might not go at you, mm. but if it's he feels like you need to be taught taught a lesson. I don't. Vector too, and they're both huge artists. I'm never going to try and say who's better. Yeah. So, did you think Emma taught Vector a lesson? No, I, I think I think they're both equally as skilled. I don't I don't know who is the one that's teaching who a lesson. Okay. But whatever needed to be said needed to be said. Um, so, typically, are you the kind of artist that will respond to things said to you, things meant to get if you, at if you? you? Go, if you come at me directly and you have something that I feel like you have no place or business saying that to me, I would I would let you know. You will react. I would definitely let you know because okay. I respect people and I feel like they should do the same with me. Great. Okay, do you think we should see more of this because of the rap culture thing? Mm. Beef has always been part of rap culture, I won't lie. So I think there'll always be that element. I just feel like don't get too caught up where you are losing your opportunities. That's all I'm saying. Do what you need to do for controversy. But if you start losing shows, obviously you're doing something wrong. Okay, That's can I need to rap before I go? Pardon? I need to rap. Anything to rap? Yeah, I need you to rap on something. Maybe rap with Plus TV. Plus TV. Mm, um, Plus TV Africa. Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's funny. To multiply, before you multiply, you first have to add. Plus TV, I came through to grab. I like your hairstyle. I like the fashion on your... <laughs> on your back. Uh, Laddie Poe, the best rapper in Africa. I don't need to brag. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can't okay, forget that. Okay, I mean, you've been rapping all through the show, so it's yeah, fine. Exactly. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Benny Ak and Ewa Ulua Ritu, and the entire production team, and of course, our guest, Ladi Poe. Thank yeah. you for being here. Peace and love. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and I'll definitely see you later.